90 year old legendary Odissi dancer and Padma Shri awardee Guru Mayadhar Roth is among several well known artists who are being evicted from their government accommodations. Now, eviction officials forcibly removed belongings of the aging legend, allegedly without prior notice. That's what the family says. While the artists have overstayed in the government homes, the manner of this is being done, the ouster essentially has sparked off a controversy. Ninety-one-year-old Padma Awardee Guru Mayadhar Rath sits broken-hearted as authorities evict the renowned Odissi dancer from the government accommodation, his home, for decades. Within hours of the government order asking the legendary artist to vacate the government allotted residence, eviction officers landed at his home in New Delhi's Asia village. A framed certificate of Padma Shri Award, India's fourth highest civilian award, was seen lying on the street as Guru Mayadhar's belongings were forcibly removed. <laughs> और पहले नोटिस भी देना चाहिए ना अगर आप पहले नोटिस दिखे जी फलाना डेट में आपका मौका निकाल करना है तो हम तो तैयार रह जाते हैं हम भाई कोई खाना है कोई बोलता है कोई कुछ है मतलब ऐसा के धर 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 सब सामान सब के लिए बहुत अच्छा नहीं है खराब है ये कि नाइट सेवन नाइट सेवन का तैयार जाती में हूँ इतना बुजुर्ग हूँ मेरे ख्याल रखी ये क्या करेंगे जीवित मार देंगे Daughter Madhumita said no time was given to her elderly father prior the eviction drive, alleging that the state has no respect for the Padma Awardee. I'm in a state of shock. I was alone here with my father and as you know he's very old. He's about 90, above 90 and he's a patient of asthma and uh, high BP and he's hard of hearing and he's suffering from macular holes, can't see properly and just when I was serving him lunch at 1.15 they came and they said we have to take our clothes and put it on and put it How can you, you know, give Padma and then say you घर अभी 10 मिनट में खाली करिए। You know they could have given us 24 hours notice and when they know that our case is listed at high court, it's very very cruel and very inhuman and my father is in a state of shock. Several other artists, many elderly ones who've been residing in government allotted bungalows for decades, are now facing ouster. They include Mohini Atam dancer Bharti Shivaji, Kuchipuri dancer Guru V J Rama Rao, Dhrupad singer Ustad F Vasifuddin Dagar. The way they uh, treated her today, this is not the way to be. Even if, like, even if they were in a such kind of hurry that they, the house should be vacated, they should have given her okay that this is the last warning that we give you one week, ten days, one month time, and please kindly do it, and after that. So any civilized, dignified person deserves that. One way, one year, this is our art and culture in our country. We are asking for something to do with the government. We give our medical money. We are living, we are living, but there is a court case. We are going to do something to do with the appeal. The government and the High Court have ruled that artists can be allowed to do. The government and the High Court have ruled that artists cannot continue to occupy government housing beyond the allotted period. Meanwhile, lawyers of these artists have knocked on the doors of the High Court, seeking a few more days to vacate the houses. We are outside the residence of Guru Mayadhar Raut, who's a Padma Shri awardee, who's an Odissi dancer, who is now over 92 years old. And as you can see here, in the course of an afternoon, the, his house has been place outside on the road. Is this really the way India is going to be treating their cultural heritage? Have the artists overstayed their welcome way beyond the permissible limit? Is the manner in which this eviction drive being conducted an insult to the dignity of India's celebrated artists? With Anisha Mathur in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today.